So, you just put 41 skill points into cooking, you travelled all corners of the world to get the ingredients you need, and you finally managed to make it, somehow, without all of the ingredients spoiling. What happens next? What does the unthinkable delicacy actually get you? Well, if you eat it, all of your vitamins go to the most optimal position, and uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, okay, it's not quite that bad, but it's pretty bad, and I don't think there's any reason to ever consider getting it. Here's a look at what you actually need if you do decide to get a skill to craft it. Okay, so many of these ingredients are pretty easy to get a hold of. The only problem is you need a ton of them. And what the hell are magic marrows? I've had a look on Google and I literally can't find anything about it. In fact, the only way I actually tested the unthinkable delicacy was by spawning it in. Now, you do also get a buff for getting your vitamins in the right place, but it was so terrible that I can't even remember what it was. And after trying to get it again uh, in another test, I just it didn't seem to get it. I kept eating the unthinkable delicacy and the buff was just not being given to me. Mmm. So to answer the question about whether the unthinkable delicacy is worth making, well, no, it's not. Maybe in the future they'll improve the cooking skill, but for now, you may as well put your points into something else. Like, uh, advanced dancing. Yeah, that, that's useful. Okay, so a lot of the skills right now are literal monkey poop. Okay, things might get better in the future. It's still very early on in the development of Atlas, and I'm hoping more changes will come. For the time being, keep an eye out for my skill video, where I'll be looking at which skills are useful getting, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and like this video if you enjoyed it.